Hey, it's JC1424 once again with ATV Off-Road Fury. In the last episode, we went for some stadium supercross racing at Chesa Frickin' Peak with the Havoc Mylan. Uh, yeah, that was a blue Havoc ATV. And we wore the Red O'Neill jersey, or gear, because, you know, I'm not just wearing a jersey, a, a jersey, a jersey. I'm also wearing a helmet and goggles and boots and gloves. So, yeah, you know, if I was just wearing a jersey, I guess you consider me half naked according to the game standards. Uh, yeah, enough with the stupid talk. Let's go to the Maxis Nationals this episode, because it's just, you know, back and forth. In this episode, like I mentioned at the end of the last one, we're going to Chateau Halifax. And now that I think about it, just a frickin' peat starts with CH, and then so does Chateau Halifax, except it's a sh sound, not a, a, a ch sound. Yeah. Okay, so so be very quiet. We're going to the snow. Chateau Halifax. Chateau Halifax. I'm so weird. I really am. I'm so weird that it hurts you, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am so weird. Okay, so yeah, we did the, the Havoc Milan. No, oh, I cannot keep my eyes open today. I slept well, but my eyes don't want to stay open. Okay, so... Honda! We're going to be riding a Honda this time. Um... Last time we were on a Honda, we went with the Honda 400EX. That was at Lexington Trail, I think. Or did we ever return to... Yeah, we did the, We did this one, Honda 400EX at... Uh, what's the name of the place? Yucatan Dunes? Uh, yeah, I remember that one clearly. I actually watched that one the past weekend because I just felt like watching it. I need to stay in the center of my face cam. Um, and then at Lexington Trail we did 300EX, so we're going to go back to 300EX this time. And... ah, 3X only... 300EX only comes in one color, so we're actually... No, we're going to go back to Honda 400EX, and we're going to ride the red one. And we'll have... Ridden. Okay, we'll, we'll do that, even if it's not a word. We'll... We're... Because we... So we'll have ridden all of the Honda ATVs in this game. It's sad there's only three because Honda is pretty nice, right? Uh, yeah, we did O'Neill Red. So what's after O'Neill? Well, watch, we're gonna go in an entire cycle. Right back to answer. Yeah, so we wore this last time and this time we're gonna wear... Well... We got Moose. You know what? Let, let's wear ATV Fury gear this time, because we, we don't even do that. I mean, I've never done it just because it's so, it's like supposed to be like generic. That is the uh, game save, uh, uh, what do they call it? Block? I mean, does, does he look like a block? Whatever. That is the uh, spinning game save thingy on the PlayStation 2 browser menu uh, whenever you start it up, or boot it up as the official language would be. You know, boot that thing up. Um, we're gonna put it on mail. And by the way, I've actually seen some of the AI wear this gear, which I think is kind of weird. Just because I unlocked the gear by beating a part of the game does not mean that they should be allowed to wear my gear. It's my gear. I don't want anybody in my gear. That's a weird statement. But uh, yeah, so we're going the Mail Rider ATV Fury gear and the Honda 400 EX Red. Now, Chateau Halifax is actually a pretty hard track. Okay, in the last episode, we snacked on... something? I don't even... remember what it was that we snacked on. I don't care, I don't have time to think about it. In this episode, got ourselves a cookie bowl... with Chips Ahoy in it. So, yes, Chips Ahoy. Oh my god, I need to get me a cookie... before they go. <clears throat> yeah, I got the, um, the regular crunchy kind. Just crunchy chocolate chip flavor. I believe that is the blue package. 
Love Chips Ahoy. So uh, yeah, Crunchy Chocolate Chip Chips Ahoy. Chip Chips Ahoy? Like crunchy Chip... Crunchy Chocolate Chips Ahoy. We'll leave out saying Chip another time. I mean, it looks like I'm doing pretty freaking good. You know, the Honda 400 EX is actually a pretty darn good ATV because I, I tend to do... Wow. <laughs> I tend to do pretty well with the Honda 400... Honda? The Honda 400 EX whenever I went to... Yucatan Dunes. I just choked it. Let's see if I choke it this time. That'd be right. That'd be good, right? I kind of choked it in the last episode, but that was like two laps before or whatever. And I just couldn't catch up. I chose a bad ATV. It should take a while to catch up. And I, I crashed in a very inconvenient time. Uh, I don't even feel like I'm getting these jumps right, and I'm still in the lead right now. Well, I'm just going to say I got a new fastest lap time. Just because I didn't start from a complete stop. Watch this. Fastest lap. <laughs> 47.48 seconds. Hmm. Guess what? The uh, Honda 400EX is a pretty darn good ATV. Now that I think about it, this is a really short track. Or at least it feels like it is. I like this. Very calm. You know, I kind of figured check out sh sh stupid words I can't say. Um, I kind of figured Chateau Halifax would be fun and challenging. Man, I'm enjoying riding around the track. Oh god, I messed that up. I'm getting worse at that part of the track, by the way. I kind of figured that this would be a more fun episode than Chesapeake freaking Peak was, just because Chesapeake is the easiest track to race at in the game and also the most boring. But, apparently this ATV can really pull it off. Maybe I should have returned to the Honda 300EX just so I'd be using the same ATV twice, but this is not exactly the same ATV. It's a different color. I don't even know if that matters now. Because I, I do know that 300EX is kind of a piece of crap compared to the 400EX. I mean, 300, 400, that's 100 less! These are brain, you people! So... I don't know how to feel about this. I can make it all better by doing a trick that's not a heart attack. Because you, whenever I do a do, I do do. Oh yes. Whenever I do do a trick, it is the heart attack. And it's the last lap. Ever since I finished the second lap, I haven't set a new track record, have I? That's 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 disappointing. We're gonna do a trick at that big jump that we're coming up on in like I don't know five, four seconds or something, right here, sea grab, I landed it, I don't recall my rider making a single sound this entire episode, never mind, I jinxed it, because I, I, I suck, I jinxed it, you said, oh, Crap. I, 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 I jinxed it. Couldn't go an entire episode without hurting my rider. Okay, there we go. See, I did that on purpose. I don't know if that even counts. Huh. So, uh, yeah, Chips Ahoy. This was one short episode, but it's kind of a good thing because I have a bunch of stuff to record. Um, I've got time trials to record for Crash Bandicoot and Wrath of Cortex. Um, and, you know, I've got to record those, like, as early at my... Latest convenience? I think that's right. Just because, um, some of those are really hard for me. And I don't have the, uh, the, the uh, speedy shoes power up thing, so some of them might be ex extremely not possible. <laughs> and, um, I currently have to do chapter two, and I wanna also want to do chapter three today, but there's one in chapter three that I've never done before. It is, uh, Coral Canyon, I do believe. That I've never done before. And there's me flying off the ATV. So let's eat this cookie and then abandon each other.
Yeah. So, um... Crunchy Chocolate Chip... Chips Ahoy, or Crunchy Chocolate Chips Ahoy, as you can see right here in front of my face. I'm trying to get it right in front of the camera, you know, right, so you can see the uh, chocolate chippy goodness or something of that. I'm gonna move this menu so that I uh, don't go into Demo again. Demo, as we called it um, t two episodes ago, whenever we had Pro Omnia, or as I called him whenever we were Skyping, I called him, he's awesome. So I called him Bro Omnia. He's my Bro Omnia. He really is. He's an awesome guy. He's like my best friend whenever it comes to YouTube. I mean, there's my there's my friend Kyle Johnson. He has a YouTube channel, but uh, he doesn't exactly YouTube very often. He released a video and I watched it. Uh, his channel is uh, Sexy Spy Crab. I kind of make fun of him and I'll i like oh be at school. is like hey sexy hey sexy. And I'll just make fun of him and call him sexy because he chose his YouTube screen name, but he remains anonymous. So I didn't tell you who he is. I, 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 need, I didn't even mention his name. I can't even remember his name. So yeah, he's anonymous, anonymous dude, sexy spy crab. Uh, yeah. So I mean, he's kind of like my best friend in like the public, but he has a YouTube channel. But best friend on YouTube is definitely Braxton Douthit, the awesome. He's my bro Omnia. Just going around this. Uh, main menu so that it doesn't go into demo as Braxton and I decided to call it But uh, yeah, so that's that for this episode of ATV off-road fury and then this in the Actually now that I think about it This is like the first time that we're actually gonna go into a different menu before the end of the episode Wilkes Bear Syracuse Latrobe Dupello Santa Fe Minipi. Yeah, we've done all of the um, super cost tracks. So, I think the next episode should be a Maxis Nationals track again. It's going to have to be another Maxis Nationals track because there are more Maxis National tracks than there are stadium super, super cost tracks in this game. I'm having problems saying words. Uh, so, yeah. See you next time. That's that. And episode over. <laughs>